Hello, my name is Adelbert Steiner, and I'm a pickle addict. You too should admit that you're an addict, viewers, to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Let's watch this little ATE here. I'll be honest, viewers, I'm not really a fan of pickles. Or vegetables in general, really. Yeah, I just don't like the taste. One time I ate a salad with my fiance, and apparently I got the funniest look on my face while I was eating it, because I was like, whenever a Bailey eats something and they don't know what the hell it is, we get this quizzical look on our faces. And my mom says it's the funniest thing in the world, but I don't know. I can't make the face on purpose, though, you know? So. Your what is petrified? Don't answer that, viewers. Uh, I guess this guy is hard of hearing or something like that. Uh, thank you. Thank you for totally uh, blowing me off. Don't give up. You can still yell and scream into my face. Well, anyway, what is this place? Something with cards. I forget what they actually call it, though. What is it called? The Card Stadium. Okay. You can go in there and play card games against people, but I don't want to do that. Not, not just yet. Well, today I guess we're going to be watching a lot of ATEs. Uh, meeting place. I just like watching these ATEs. It gives us a chance to relax and make a pit stop. And build up my patience before another game takes it away. You know why, viewers. You know why. Oh, hey, it's Baku. How'd he make it all the way over here before we could? Well, apparently they did. I thought he was back at Lindebloom. Oh, really? Well, that was easy. I guess that means we don't have to search. Okay, there we go. Oh. Well, we'll, we'll help you out. No problem, Marcus. Yeah, there's some treasures that we can get around here, but I I'll probably get them in reverse order, so to speak. Oh, well, there you go. Let's head on up here, then. Oh, I guess this one's forced. Well, there we are. What's going on here? Oh, an auction house. I love the auction house here. I hope I can get to it today, but uh, there's so much to do here. Is that who I think it is? I know who it is, but I'll talk more about that later. Not right now. Well, what, did you snipe it? Yeah, I'll be talking about sniping, too. Uh, let's see. I thought there was something around here, like a... Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, I thought there was a hidden treasure here. All right. Well, let's head on up here, then, and uh, pick up Dagger while we're at it. Well, I suppose that's why we had to uh, watch this AT. Well, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, I guess they don't have it for sale. Hmm. Nuts. Okay, well, yeah, I basically just wanted to pick up Dagger to uh, well, do some other things. Er, well, hmm? What do you mean you've seen him before? He was just introduced to the game. Eh, the King family. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, one thing I want to do, let's remove that Magus hat, because I'm going to need that to uh, synthesize some things. Soon enough, viewers, soon enough. Okay, so let's head on over to the weapon shop, then. And, uh, let's see. Whoa, what's that down there? Perhaps I should just ask. Hey, eh, how's it going? Yeah, what is with the monster down there? Oh, the Knight family, huh? Interesting. Oh, really? Hmm. Well, it's better than fighting a Rancor, but, uh, no, no, I think I'll save that for later. Not, not quite yet. Soon enough, viewers. I don't know why I'm saying that so much lately. Let's buy a Mithril Sword. We need that. Uh, let's see. What else do I need? I need a couple more... What? Oh, right. I was like, where's all my money? It's, uh, right down here. There we go. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> I'm rich! Rich, I tell ya! In the game, anyway. Okay, so we wanted to get a couple lightning stabs. I want to synthesize those into coral rings. Uh, let's see. What else do I want? I want four bone wrists 
for equipping and multiple party members and such. Let's see, five bandanas. Let's see, I want two more linen cuirasses, or however you pronounce it. Uh, let's see, because I want to synthesize those into gold chokers. And then I want to get two chain mails for Steiner and Freya. Okay, there we go. Let's see, give that to him there. That's one of the reasons why I didn't equip the Germinus boots, because now I can learn HP plus 10 here, alert there. And I figured, hey, Insomniac, you know, he's going to have a hard time learning that. Uh, also, that is why I did not equip the Coral Ring on Dagger here, because she can learn that from her headgear. So, there we go. Okay, yeah, we're in pretty good shape. Yeah, the Bone Wrist is just slightly stronger, that's all. And again, obviously, don't sell any of your excess equipment. You don't need to uh, worry about that. You never know. You might run into something. Or, you know, something that I uh, want to synthesize later in the game. Or a new character who wants to learn an ability from that. Is your brother Luigi around here somewhere? No. Nah, no. Nah. My brother's been playing Mario Galaxy 2 a lot lately. Man, that, I, I couldn't wrap my head around that game. Just the way it... Uh, you change the angles and everything. Holy cow. But anyway, over here we get the Yeti card. Or, well, a Yeti card. Let's see, over here we get a gill. Well, it could be worse. Better than having that in the middle of a dungeon, like in Final Fantasy II. Huh. Let's see, if we go over here, we can find a secret treasure. Taurus. I'm a Taurus. It's good being a Taurus. Ah. Oh. Wow, that's no good. Let's check out the Taurus. Why not? Let's see. Oh, anything interesting? Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, what, what those things are, they're called Stellazio, and they're some kind of coin, not a stone. I mispronounced it, or misspoke last episode, so. Oh, well. But anyway, you go down here, we're back at the entrance. Let's circle our way around. I just love this city, how it's all laid out, and everything like that, and there's intersections and shortcuts, and the, the, I just love everything about this city. Okay, well now that we've done just about everything I want to do with uh, the weapon shop there, let's head on back over here and synthesize some good stuff now. Okay, let's see. We want to get a Katusha. It teaches, well, the most important thing it teaches is ability up for Freya. It's a female-only piece of equipment, so... You know, I've got to be careful with that. Let's see, I want to get three coral rings because uh, because it has the uh, thunder absorption, which would be really good for some situations. You could use it against the Grand Dragons if you really wanted to. And then I want to get three gold chokers. Uh, one to actually equip for abilities, and I want two more to synthesize some other things later in the game, like uh, two anklets, essentially. And I've gotten everything else there, so let's just... Uh, you know what? I want to leave some wrists and steepled hats in my inventory, just in case for later, you know, maybe I'll have a new character or someone who might want to learn an ability from those. Or maybe there's something to synthesize that I forgot. I mean, I did do three full test runs for this game, but y you never know. I mean, I'm, I might forget something still. I'm only human, viewers, as you may have noticed from my other LP. Let's see, if we go over here, we can find an other. All right. Wow, just so much stuff to do here. Oh, yeah, I have some Stelazio. Well, okay. Bird Lady. On any other game, I would find that uh, odd, but not in the world of Final Fantasy IX. Well, let's uh, visit Queen Stella here, or whatever her name is. Queen Stella. Okay, there we go. Oh, star-shaped coins? Okay. Sure, I'll give you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll give you my cancer. <laughs> but anyway, this is a little side quest that you can do in the game where you collect these coins for her, and when you give them to Queen Stella here, you get a reward. So you got, unfortunately, you have to give them to her one at a time, but, uh, you know, you can get some pretty good stuff for it. So let's see what I get for, well, I got four of them, so. Yeah, but you get really good rewards for this stuff. Uh, eventually, that is. Let's give her the Taurus, then, that I got. I don't know why it sparkles like that and then becomes an ordinary coin. Maybe that's her way of teleporting it or something. 2,000 gold. Or, Gil. Sorry, I'm thinking of the other game I'm playing. 
whatever. Close enough. What is gill, anyway? Besides something a fish uses to breathe. Eh. But anyway, for giving her the fourth Stelazio, we get the Blood Sword. It doesn't matter which Stelazio you give her. Uh, you know, whichever is the fourth one you give her gets you the Blood Sword. Um, I don't know if any of them become, uh, inaccessible later in the game. I forget. Hmm. Well, anyway, now I want to head back to the uh, auction house. Or, well, eventually. Actually, there's one more thing that I want to do before that. Uh, I want to head back to the weapon shop now that I've gotten all that good stuff. So, let's uh, set up Steiner here. Let's give him the blood sword. Nice thing about that is it uh, drains HP from your target. So that's really good for him. Uh, this is a one-on-one -on -one battle, by the way, just so you know. Uh, no experience, no ability points, so don't worry about that. Now, I want the gold choker for this battle because it reduces uh, wind elemental damage by 50%. That's pretty good there. Um, oh, I wish I could equip the power belt for MP attack. By the way, MP attack, uh, it does, MP attack stacks with the killer abilities, so that can be really good against the right enemy there. So, let's see, anything else I care about? No, not really. I'll rearrange all my equipment differently by the time I leave anyway, so. And yes, I will go to a certain dwelling soon enough, viewers, if you know what I mean. Not today, but eventually. Let's fight the monster. Oh, that's okay. Steiner, duh. Happy trails, Steiner! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, now this should be pretty easy with Steiner. The nice thing about the Blood Sword, particularly in one-on-one -on -one battles, is that, well, Steiner will be taking all the hits, but then he'll automatically regenerate it with the Blood Sword. So that's pretty good. Go, Steiner! Go! Yeah, you see, he drained all that HP. It's basically a full HP restoration. Come on, Steiner, get your turn. Get your turn. Get your turn. There we go. Restore HP, just keep on doing that over and over again. Uh, obviously, Bird Killer you want for this battle, but same difference. And, let's see, how much is that? Yeah, I would not have survived that without the Gold Choker. That would have dealt 600 damage, enough to kill me at this point. So, alright, there we go. There's also another trick you can do with the game where if you have Steiner fighting by himself with the Blood Sword against enemies just coming right at him over and over and over and over again, you can get a lot of levels and ability points for him, so. All right, we get a card, that's it? I risked my life for a card? Well, anyway, uh, let's sell off most of those cotton robes. Let's keep, let's keep one. I don't think I'll need more than that, but let's see, how much gill do I have? Yes, there we go. That's all, that's all the money I'll need, because now, I'm going to be heading to the auction house to get a ton of accessories. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.